Hello, all of my wonderful crafting buddies. I hope that you are doing exceptionally well. I'm excited to bring you another video. And today we're going to do glittered ornaments. It is so simple, but it doesn't look simple. It's going to be a beautiful addition to your tree or as a gift, whatever you want to do with these. You only need a couple of supplies. Um, most of them you probably already have if you do a lot of crafting. Um, first, we're going to start with some ornaments. You need, um, you can use just round ornaments. You could use a variety of sizes and shapes of ornaments. It's really up to you. Um, this one is glass. These other two are plastic. It really doesn't matter whether you use glass or plastic. They work equally well. So use whatever you want. You're going to need some floor cleaner. This is the Pledge Revive It brand. Um, it used to be Future Floor Cleaner. Um, a lot of polymer crafters People that do polymer clay have this already, but it doesn't matter which brand you have as long as it is the glossy floor cleaner. Then you're going to need, of course, glitter. I like using the ultra fine glitter because it gives such a sparkly look. You can see one that I've already done here, and it's it really gives a beautiful finish to it. Um, or you can use this chunkier glitter, and these actually work well too. Just be prepared that they don't cover as well as the ultra fine glitter does. Um, here's an example that I did using this glitter, and you can see that it covers well, but there are a few little places that it missed. So you can use whichever glitter that you want. You're going to need a cup. I have two different cups, and I'll show you why in a minute. I also have a scrap of paper towel. Um, I have a cone, a funnel, that I made just from a scrap piece of paper. You just twist it up, and I put a piece of tape on it and can reuse that. And I have a little scooper. And I use the little scooper in these chunkier glitters because sometimes it makes it easier to put it in the ornament. I found that was the case with these and it helped me to get better coverage along the bottom, but I still couldn't get perfect coverage. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is pop off the top of your ornament and set it aside. You will need that later. Don't get rid of it. And then you'll want to take your floor cleaner and I pour about a half a cup, I think these are five ounce cups, depending on the size and the shape of your ornament will depend on how much cleaner you need. So you're gonna wanna pour some into a cup and then bend part of the cup just to make kind of a spout so it's easier to get it into the ornament and just pour it into your ornament. I apologize if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. He evidently does not find my crafting to be very interesting. And you just take this and you're going to want to cover the inside of the ornament. Now you're not going to want to shake it. You can see the little bubbles that are right there. I hope you can see those. You don't want those all over the inside of your ornament. But you do want to get good coverage all over the inside of your ornament. So I just take it and swirl it around. And once I have the inside of the ornament covered, I just pour it back into my cup. And now this may seem like overkill to some people, but I just find that I get better glitter coverage if I do this twice. I don't know why. I don't know the science behind it. I just know that it seems like I get better coverage. So again, I make sure that I coat the entire inside of the ornament and you can see that I have quite a few more bubbles in it this time. Hopefully those won't make a huge difference. See if I can get them down toward the bottom. And just make sure that you get all of it covered and pour it back into your cup. See how easy that is? Then I'm going to take my piece of paper towel and just blot off the neck of the ornament and get the excess floor cleaner out. You don't want to leave a puddle of floor cleaner 
in your ornament because it will wind up with a puddle of glitter at the bottom of your ornament or wherever the puddle sits and you don't want that. You're going to want a nice even, even coating of glitter on the inside of your ornament. I was hoping I could get those bubbles out, but they don't want to come out. Okay, that's all right. So we're going to start with this pink glitter. And I have found it is mucho easier to put the glitter in a cup. Make sure that you have enough glitter to cover the inside of your ornament. It's better to have too much glitter than not enough. Don't ask me how I know. And just pour your glitter into the opening of your ornament. Now, if your ornament has a small neck or you're having a hard time getting it in there, that's why I have the funnel. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to pour it in there using the funnel. And then you just want to start moving the ornament around, swirling it around so that you get good coverage. And in this case, you can put your finger over the hole and shake it. Unlike the floor cleaner, you can shake this part. And see how easy that is? You just take either your container of glitter or your cup and dump the rest of it back in. The great thing about this is that even though there is floor cleaner on the inside of your ornament, I have not noticed that it causes any clumps or that it coats the extra glitter in any way. So I have no problem returning it to the container to use again on another project. It doesn't cause any future issues. It doesn't stick to your glitter. Your glitter is absolutely fine, which is nice. Then you can use it for something else. And you can see how well that coated the inside of the ornament. You get some shadows, so it looks like it didn't coat very well in some places, but it's a nice, even coat. And that took no time at all. That was such an easy project, wasn't it? So now I will show you, and you can use any color glitter you want. I happen to have a blue and pink Christmas tree this year. So these pink ornaments will work really well on my tree. So next, let's use another ornament. I'm just going to use another round ornament. I took the top off. I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to pour the floor cleaner back into the ornament again. We'll turn it upside down, swirl it around. Make sure we get really good coverage. This floor cleaner is what acts as the glue, so you want to make sure that it covers really well. But then it gets on your finger and your finger gets sticky. So you dump that out. Let it sit for just a second to get as much of it out as you can. Remember, I do this a second time. And I truly don't know why this makes a difference, but it really does seem to for some reason. I. It is beyond the capabilities of the queen to know why that seems to work so well. Go figure. So we're going to swirl this around the inside of our ornament. And we're really just going to make sure that we get good coverage. And once you swirl it around once or twice, then it works just fine. And see, now we've got air bubbles in the ornament, which is going to cause a problem. I'm going to try there. I'm going to try adding some back in to see if maybe we can get rid of those bubbles. Haha, -ha, it worked. Okay, and we'll take our paper towel again and dab off the neck of our ornament. Just getting that excess floor cleaner out so we don't have big puddles of it. And now let's try using this glitter. You can see that it's a lot chunkier than the other glitter, so it's not going to give us the same effect that 
the first the ultra fine glitter gives us and for this one sometimes I use that's why I have this scoop out when I have this chunkier glitter sometimes I just use the scoop and I scoop it directly out of the glitter container and that helps me get it into especially ornaments like this it helps to get it toward the bottom but for this one I'm going to use the funnel that we made and just pour the glitter in there there we go and now we'll just take it and swirl the ornament around give it a shake this is a little bit more complicated only because due to the shape of the glitter you can tell that there are a bunch of little holes left they're not bad but it doesn't lay the same way that the ultra fine glitter lines up but you just give it a good shake look around the ornament make sure that you don't have any bare spots and it looks like this one worked out pretty well. So we will take the glitter and return it either back to our original jar or to the cup, however you want to do it. I can hear that there's still some glitter in there. And leaving a few extra pieces of glitter in there really doesn't matter. You just want to get as much glitter out as possible so that you can use it on another project. You just don't want to waste it. And there we have the chunky glittered ornament. Weren't these easy and fast? And they look beautiful on your tree. They really do. You could stop decorating these here and hang them on your tree after letting them dry. I leave them overnight, but this floor cleaner dries super fast so I would say give it at least a couple of hours but then you're good to go you pop the top back on and you hang it on your tree or just like I said with this ornament you could add some other decorations to the outside these don't need to be sprayed or sealed in any way and they should last beautiful ornaments I hope that you found this video helpful I hope that you learned something new and I really appreciate you watching. If you would please give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I'm a new channel. I'm trying to get going. If you have suggestions for projects that you want to see, I'm happy to do those. Um, I do all kinds of mixed media projects. You never know what's going to pop up next on my channel. So I'm happy to bring anything to you that you've wondered no matter how beginner you may think it is, I'm happy to cover the beginning basics for you if you have a project that you don't know how to do. So just let me know what you'd like to see and I'm happy to do that for you. Again, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I love doing these videos and I hope that you tune in for the next video. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.